Uh, uh, work it out. Yeah, check out these sounds. They're so fat. Amazing. Kick, snare, hi-hat. Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Those are pretty weak. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about how to use MIDI files and not just for your cell phone. Okay, I'm talking about the notes from the thousands of hit classic songs that have MIDI files floating around the internet by hobbyists and uh, people who do it for karaoke and um, just whatever. I use them for inspiration, learning chord voicings, using bass lines or keys or lead lines or melodies from songs without having to interpolate them myself and go through note by note and replay them because somebody's already done the work for you. Okay, so open up Cubase empty and we're going to go into preferences first and go over to your MIDI file menu and make sure this bottom box is unchecked. Okay. And if you haven't already do that and apply because uh, we want to import the parts into MIDI tracks, not instrument tracks. Okay. So we got that out of the way. Then we'll go into file import MIDI file. And I have already found a good copy of Isley brothers between the sheets on some uh, free website. Um, it's real easy to search and find that stuff. It will ask you what directory you want and bam, we got all the keyboard parts. We got, I think this is doubled up an octave and I don't know if the original song had two octaves. We have a bass line. Okay. So since these aren't assigned to anything, you can just go ahead and start grabbing your favorite keyboard sound or whatever you want to have, have those keys play and I'm just going to pick something off of this library here. Just some uh, electric piano sounds. Okay. And um, let's see what we got. There they are. But it's an octave too high on this one. So what we can do is go in, select all the notes. This is some basic MIDI editing stuff. I just go and change the last note of the pitch there down one. I find that easier and more accurate than trying to drag the whole set of notes down an octave, but there's different ways to do that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, one other thing we're gonna look at, one of a few things, okay, we have all our note data, but there's more information inside these parts, okay? So I have it selected. You wanna go into MIDI and we're going to go into the list editor. Okay. And you can see right here, if you have never used this, it's very, very handy for working with MIDI files. I have, okay. The note data, that's the keyboard parts note filtered out. So all I see is things like program change. Okay. That's when, uh, the MIDI files telling each channel, what instrument to switch to. So you hear keyboards, drums, bass, all separate. Okay. And some of these controllers, it's got volume things built in and we're just gonna get rid of all that, okay? Because we know we just want the notes in this case. So I selected all those and we're gonna delete those and close that. Let's go down here to our baseline. Same thing, um, looks like everything's there, but we wanna look at the list editor. So go to MIDI, open list editor and there's program changes, okay, volume, all kinds of stuff for a very dynamic classical music performance with uh, maybe strings going from silence to loud. Maybe you would leave some of that stuff there, but for this type of thing, we're going to just get rid of it and leave the notes only. Okay. So let's just uh, find a VSTI for our bass sound just for this little exercise right here. And I'm just going to load up the stock onboard Cubase monologue. Okay. We've got a couple different sounds here and, um, I'm not really familiar with a lot of these patches, so let's put these together and see what we got. Well, we'll solo it and see. Okay, I need to assign that to there. You'll have to do the same thing. Whoa, talk about bass, that's super low. Okay, we had to bring the other part down, but we need to bring this one up. So we're gonna select all, see that zero. We're gonna change that to a one, bring it up one octave, see what that sounds like. Okay, that's a horrible sound for that. Well, that's actually kind of close to the original right there. So 
So if you ever wanted to do a remix that used chords from a song or used melodies or something that would be included in the MIDI file, that's how you would get it into a song either as a basis of a project or how we're going to do next is import just one part, say these chords, into an existing song, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just trash this and open up a, just a little beat that just has some drums just uh, as a exercise. And we're going to figure out how to get just that part in there, okay? Now, one way I could have done it was to just keep that and copy the MIDI part and paste it in here. But say you haven't done it yet. So let's import the MIDI file directly into this little beat and see see what it does with our track arrangement. It asks if I want to create a new project and I hit no. And this is the MIDI file I want. Okay. And it didn't import it. So I'm looking to see if it opened another arrangement and it didn't. And I don't know if this is a glitch with Cubase or if it doesn't like to work with certain types of MIDI files. So we're gonna find a workaround, okay? Because you see, you're my witness. We're choosing import MIDI file. We don't want a new project and we wanna open that. And it's just not bringing it in here. And I've, I've had this problem before. So we're gonna to try to import it again. And this time we are gonna choose create a new project. Okay, and it's gonna create a new project and it's going to ask what directory and it's going to activate it. Okay. So we can just take these chords. Okay. And you can either hit control C or copy. I hardly ever use that that way. So we go back over here. This is our activate project button. We want to bring this to the forefront and that will load all the appropriate VSTIs into those, uh, into the VSTI rack. Okay, so now we can just create a new MIDI file for those keys. Add a MIDI ch channel. Okay. Um, if we had something called up already, we could assign it or we can just go into something else here and put these keys that we had from the last example with some uh, electric piano. Okay, we're gonna assign it to that and we're gonna go through, we're gonna paste, control V or edit and paste right there. Okay, we can line this up. Now we still have to go through, we know that this is an octave high, bring it down. I've done this stuff so much, it's just uh, instinct. So I gotta slow down and explain it better. Um, we're gonna check and see if there's any control change uh, or anything that we wanna get rid of from our list editor. So. Look at that and get rid of that. And so here's our part. Okay, so we got our keys. Now this is just an 80s beat I was fooling around with with a buddy of mine for fun. So we have it over top and what do we got? So there you go. You can drag one or several of the parts when you recreate a new project for a new MIDI file and you can select multiple ones and just drag what you want because chances are you're not going to use these drums um, if you're wanting to reconstruct something. I don't need anything else from here except for the bass line. So I can copy that and go back to here and activate this project. And here's an empty MIDI file. I can just drag that in. Sorry, that's an empty track. And I can just recreate that. So MIDI files, there's a lot more to them than just cheesy sounds and cell phone ringtones. It's a way for you to study new piano <laughs> chord voicings, use little pieces of other songs for inspiration or springboard ideas off or learn chord changes or use chord changes. So Google is your friend.
almost any hit song you can think of is out there floating around and somebody's already done the hard work you don't need to sit and transcribe and transpose these incredible keys and certain songs like between the sheets the the synths and the resonance and the way it's mixed it would be almost impossible only a really really good jazz keyboard player would be able to do that so there you have it midi files <laughs>